Hey guys, it's Di, and this is my closet tour. This was requested a super long time ago, and I actually never got around to doing it because we had just moved into this house, and I wasn't super happy with how my closet was at that point. I've been continually working on it, and even though it's always a work in progress, I feel like it's at least at a point now that I can kind of show it and show you how I have my handbags and accessories in there as well. So if you guys remember, I used to have a handbag cabinet back here behind me, and I moved that new vanity into its place so I've moved that handbag cabinet into my closet and I also just wanted to say that we just have a normal house with normal walk-in closets and that sort of thing so if you're looking for ideas for that sort of situation then go ahead and keep viewing but if you're looking for like a dressing room type situation this isn't that type of video so you probably should just go ahead and click out this is just a normal walk-in closet and um, you know ideas for storing handbags and accessories in a in a medium-sized closet. We've had smaller walk-in closets at other houses. My so husband's things are on one side of the closet, and I'm not even going to show that area. And then he gave me the larger side to put my things on. He does have a few things on my side, which I won't really focus on. But, of course, since he gave me the larger side of the closet, I am not going to really say anything or complain if he puts a few things over on my side. So I will show you how I have my closet set up and how I have my handbags and accessories stored in a medium size walk-in closet and basically I just keep my clothes handbags accessories and shoes in my closet and all of our coats go into a different closet all of my bath and body and makeup stuff goes into a different area of the house so I will go ahead and show you how everything is set up and hopefully you guys enjoy this video so I will go ahead and take you over to the closet. My makeup vanity is here and it normally has my vanity stool down there and then this closet is the door that you always see right here behind me all right, so this is what you see when you first go into the closet, and you can see my handbag cabinet is right here, straight forwards as you come into the closet. And then primarily this side is the main side of the closet that is mine, so this is what we'll basically focus on. And I'm not going to show you, the closet goes back to the left, but that's all my husband's stuff, so I'm not really going to focus on that. I just have a few decor items up here on the wall, and this little sign is from Hobby Lobby. It says, a fabulous purse is a true companion. And then this picture over here is also from Hobby Lobby. I just thought it was really pretty, and it's a picture of Paris in the springtime, and I thought it also went with the colors and the Como print things from the container store. It's kind of got the beiges and the blues and that sort of thing in there. Up here, this is kind of just a test run this Louis Vuitton bag. I was thinking about putting, you know, the frame shopping bag idea up here in this open space, but I didn't want this to look too cluttered. So I'm not really sure what else I'm going to be putting on this wall quite yet. I was thinking about maybe putting a Christmas ornament. Like if I found a purse one, I could hang it underneath this sign. I thought that that would be a nice compliment, but I'm not really sure, you know, up there if I want a whole bunch of stuff going on. I just don't want it to look too cluttered. So that's what I have right now. That's kind of what it looks like. Then down here, this is my handbag cabinet, and it's pretty much got the same things in it as the last time I showed it, but real quick, I'll show you what I have. And these Como containers are from the container store, and these containers are now discontinued. You can get other things in this print, but these containers specifically in this rectangle shape have been discontinued. So in these, I just keep Tiffany boxes in this one, and then I just keep things like sunglass case and uh, Rebecca Mingoff pouches and that sort of thing in this next one that I'm using. I like to bring things that are kind of, you know, just being brought in. Like I just got this Tiffany leather accessory pouch and that sort of thing up here to be put away wherever they're going to end up being. So I kind of use that bin as like an inbox type of thing. And then back here I have my travel makeup bag, which is the Marshall Fields makeup bag, so I just store that back there. This is actually a Kiehl's bag that shouldn't be in here. This is a coach scarf that I got last year, and I really, really like that one. That's one that I wear in the winter a lot. And then when you open up this handbag cabinet, it's pretty much organized the same as it was in my original handbag and accessory um, storage video. I have all the accessory boxes and everything back over here, a couple sunglasses, um, cases over here. And then to this side, I just basically have the Rebecca Minkoff uh, Morning After Clutches, Louis Vuitton Alma. Down here I have handbags that can lay flat like Balenciaga and a coach bag that can lay flat. Then there's the Louis Vuitton Monte GM up at the top because it needs space to kind of hold its shape. And then also 
the Tavoli GM is over here because it also needs the space to hold its shape. And so that's basically everything that I've kept in this handbag cabinet. When you go over here to this side, all my clothing is pretty much primarily over here on this side. And the rest of my handbags are up here in these handbag and storage bins from the container store. This bin just has just like random non-brand name bags, you know, from like the Gap or Disney Store or whatever. They're all in that one. And I can do this in more detail. If people are interested in just the handbags, I can do a video just on that. But to give you an idea, these handbag storage containers are really nice. They have an open top and they're slanted to the sides. So they're really nice size for storing handbags. This first one just has Louis Vuitton handbags in it. The second one has Coach handbags in it. And then this next one, put that extra bin over there real quick. And this next one has a Rebecca Minkoff bag and then I also will put a Marc Jacobs bag that I'm using currently down inside of there. This is just an extra bin that I got whenever I happened to randomly find these at my container store left over. So it doesn't really have a place quite yet. And then these two bins are from Target. I absolutely love these. I've had these for a number of years. I wish I would have got more when they were available because I really love these. These just have old accessories in them. Some Vera Bradley, Juicy Couture, um, some Tiffany boxes, stuff from Coach and that sort of thing. So these are all just older accessories. And then primarily, you know, everything that I wear is in this closet now. I used to take up our mass, you know, part of our master closet and part of our guest closet. But I've tried to really part down my clothing to just everything that I wear primarily. And then back here I do have like, this is all my professional wear that I don't really wear as often, but I wanted to keep these items. And then those are my professional shoes. So I did keep these items back here that I don't really wear as often. And then I have my jeans that I wear all the time back here in this pile. And then clothing that I hopefully will not be wearing for a very, very long time back here in this corner. That's all my maternity wear. And then I have my scarves hanging up right here. This is a coach scarf that I got a few years ago when we lived in Michigan. I still really like that one. And then I just use this round thing to hang a lot of these kind of thinner scarves off of. I like these in the fall, winter, and spring. And then it just goes into tank tops, shirts that I wear most often, sweaters, which I know you're not supposed to hang up, but I do anyways, and cardigans and, and that sort of thing. Honestly, it could use a reorganization. The one thing that I'm really not happy with right now with the closet is obviously you can see the hanger situation. It's a mix of wood hangers and plastic hangers. And when we were at a house about four or five years ago, I decided to redo our closet with these wood hangers and I thought it was gonna look very lovely. I was very excited about it. And I redid the whole closet and I realized two things after I got my clothing back in is that one, these hangers are extremely, extremely heavy <laughs> and they uh, will pull down if you just have one of these regular closet bars they pull it down a lot. They're extremely, extremely heavy. And the second thing is that they take up more space. <laughs> they take up about twice as much space as like standard plastic hangers. So I went to put everything back into that closet, which was a little bit smaller walk-in closet, and it wouldn't all fit. So that was um, a huge mess. And although they're very, very pretty, I don't think that they're super practical. So I'm thinking at some point of replacing my hangers with like those huggable hangers. They kind of have like a felt on them from the container store. If you guys use those, let me know what you think about them. Because I really don't want to do the whole thing again with buying a bunch of hangers for all my clothing and it turning into a huge mess again. So that's like kind of my side tangent story that I'm still sorting out what to do with all of the hangers and everything. But primarily the things that I wear the most often are pretty much in this section right here. And then I just have my hamper down there. And then these shoe bins are from Target. They were like $34.99 at Target. And I've got two of them currently. I think I could probably use one more. But I think my husband would probably disagree with me. Um, they fit, if you have flip-flops, they can fit two to three pairs of those. Some ballet flats, you can fit like two pairs of those if you don't mind them being a little bit squished. But otherwise, you can fit one pair really comfortably. 
And then I have like my kind of better shoes over here to this side. And all of my Tory Burch shoes are here in the front. And you can see that the boxes actually fit in there really nicely. So I just went ahead and left those in their boxes. These are boxes for Rivas um, or Eddie's shoes or um, this is a pair of flip flops. And all those fit in there really nicely. And then I just left my Uggs in their boxes up here, um, my Dior shoes in their boxes up there. I'm trying out these little boxes from the container store with a few pairs of shoes to see how I like those. And then just odds and ends down here at the bottom. This is like the only pair of Le Vuitton shoes that I have, um, some Dior sandals, and then it just goes into like Sicilis and sneakers and stuff like that. So that's all of my shoes. And then I just have an extra Le Vuitton box down here and that extra tote from Gigi Hill, which is really big so it doesn't fit in the handbag containers. And then up here in this box, I have all of my extra shopping bags and that sort of thing. And so that is pretty much it. This is my closet in a nutshell. So it's still kind of a work in progress. You know, I'm always continually kind of working on it. So if you guys have any suggestions, I'm always open to suggestions, but this is basically the main idea behind my closet and I really really love these handbag containers from the container store they work out really really well so I guess that is pretty much the closet tour and I will go ahead and leave you with a picture of this wall this will be our quote for the day a fabulous purse is a true companion and um, this sign makes me really happy to walk in and see it I think it's just a fun little thing so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video let me know if you have any questions thanks so much for watching and have a great day